Hey guys, uh, it's Q from the 505, otherwise known as New Mexico. So I'm just like making a short video about the test I took today. It was the Kaplan, a nursing entrance exam. And basically the reason why I'm doing this is because I got a bunch of people that are going to be in my class on Monday. Today's Saturday, by the way. So, actually no, wait, Sunday now. It's 12 a.m. in the morning. <sighs> It's been a long day, but anyways, so it's besides the point. I wanted to make this video just so that way I can talk about what exactly was on the test, just so that way I can easily remember and refer people back to this video. This video. So yeah, yeah, that's my cat, by the way. <laughs> anyways, yeah, I know my cat. It's like, anyways, so. Nursing enters exam, otherwise known. The school I went to. Uh, we took the Kaplan nursing entrance exam and for my school we had to score an individual score of at least 67 percent to get in along with uh, reading we had to score at least 72 percent 72 percent and science 55 percent yeah i know standards are kind of low down here anyways so the the materials I use personally, I use the Kaplan study guide. Otherwise, like yeah, this book right here. It was all right. I wouldn't recommend it in terms of buying it unless like the only thing that I the only reason why I really bought this book was because of the practice test. That's what really helped me in terms of the reading. Now, as for the reading on the on the book itself, the reading portion of, of the book was very helpful, especially when it came to strategies on how to effectively take a test, along with like knowing like pay attention to detail on in the text and that type of stuff. The math portion of the book was also helpful too, but it gave a lot of too much information. Cause for the Kaplan, you only needed to know like just some basic algebra such as your ratio fractions percentages and dosage calculations which dosage calculations are not that difficult we're not that difficult on tests i didn't even study for it that's and i you know and i passed the flying colors with with the with the math portion but you know if you want to brush up any algebra and practice you know practice some algebra algebraic equations and I recommend this book writing there was no writing in in the Kaplan book and honestly you know you, know, you pay money for this book and it's supposed to prepare you but they didn't do anything for the writing science science was all right I didn't really use science. I didn't really use the science part of the of the book exclusively compared to the reading and math part. I used uh, both Khan Academy and Quizlet as as my um, as my reference or my learning tools because right now currently I'm taking Algebra two, and for the science part of the Kaplan. It's algebra two, not sorry, not, um, my bad. Anatomy two, and basically for the science part, we need to know is the blood flow, uh, particularly blood flow through the heart, otherwise known as the cardiovascular system, uh, the respiratory system. Also, know a little bit about nervous system. More particularly, know about the parasympathetic, sympathetic nervous system, along with autonomic nervous systems and what they do. Know the endocrine, just be familiar with it. It's not too difficult for that. Ner know, know, about the, know about the brain functions and what exactly they do. What else? No gout, that's a given. That, because um, they, they always have that gout part. I don't know why. Like this, this seems to be like in everybody's recommended. And I want to talk about a little bit about the test itself. Uh, in terms of the reading part of the test, because like not many people are talking about like the test itself. I'm not gonna say like you know all the answers and that type of stuff because I'm not sure if I'm at, 
liberty to talk about that. But for the reading part, it was interesting to say the very least because at first the first portion of reading you read about some geography and some stuff like that and then you start reading about like political persuasions and, like education that type of stuff which was like totally weird I mean if you're like if you're like me and you don't really like like getting political stuff shoved down your throat let alone reading it you know you may not like appreciate that part of the test but you know it's so whatever it's what you gotta do the math part was the math portion of, of the of the test honestly when I studied for it I was under the impression that I would not have a calculator always with me throughout the entire test and literally throughout the entire test for the math portion I had a calculator so I mean it, it don't, don't get me wrong it's it's useful to know this stuff but you know it, I, I could have saved some time knowing that I could I, uh, of like handwriting this stuff or like doing it manually but you know it's whatever though like you know like I said I passed writing portion of the test it a third grader basically wrote wrote it that that's all I gotta say about the writing the writing portion because like the options they gave me for the writing portion I did not like any of them and I'm like the type of dude that's like able to write an essay of like a five page essay overnight easily so, you know I'm, I'm a very avid writer myself and you know I, I scored low on this you know and I'll talk about my my score afterwards science part multiple choice you know process of elimination you know you either know it or you don't you know and like I said Quizlet helped out a lot but definitely knowing Khan Academy definitely helped me understand in depth on what exactly what each part of the body does and that's the part like I appreciate the most and I need to emphasize this to anybody that's like going to nursing you know, just because you need to know this information to pass the Kaplan test does not mean you're not going to need it, ever need it in nursing school because right now I'm taking a pathophysiology class myself and just recently we just got over the acid, what goes wrong in the body in terms of acid base balance, such as, you know, acidosis, alkalosis, respiratory, or metabolic. You know, so. Just because, like I said, you know, just know know this information and know it well, so that way you can succeed in nursing school. Now, as for the, as for like the score I did myself, I, I got an eighty percent, and so I got into nursing school. So cool, cool for me. I mean, I'm I'm happy about that. I, I've I've studied for at least three months prior like I studied all my winter break for that for the reading I got an 82 percent which I'm happy really happy because I hated reading I hate doing reading comprehension because like it's just boring math got an 89 percent that was like the best I did so that was cool Writing was my worst. I got 62%, so that's what really brought my overall score down. But anybody that will, anybody that talks, that you talk to about the writing portion, they will all say, yeah, the writing sucked. So, you know, everybody's going to say that. Science, uh, that was my second best. I got 85%. So that was cool. Um, another part w of, of the test is they actually give you an evaluation for critical thinking and it isn't really said in the test when you first take it that you're going to get also scored on critical thinking but my theory is for in terms of critical thinking I think that critical thinking is calculated based on how fast you answer a question and how accurately you answer a question 
But what's interesting is that I got an 88% of my critical thinking, and I ran the time down for my math portion. Like, I answered all my questions on my math portion, but I ran the time down. And so I don't understand that part of the test. What's interesting too is it will tell you like how many answers you went from incorrect to correct or correct to incorrect, and I only got one that went from one answer went from incorrect to correct. So that's cool, I guess. What else? And yeah, that's pretty much like all I gotta say about the whole uh, Kaplan test. The like I said, the book, this book. You know, if you want, if just for the, just for the practice test, get it. But if you, you know, for in terms of science, like it was science and math, like it's just it's trash. Like, I, you know, honestly, I, I'm gonna destroy this book after after I get into the nursing program. You know, because that's the. <laughs> You know, I pretty much use it. Like I, I, I've, you know, marked it. I pretty much marked it all up. You know, and that type of stuff. So, I mean, it's just dumb. But you know, my my advice to people that are going to be taking this test, you know, is take it easy. And if you're a smoker, go have a smoke. If you're a vapor, go have a vape. Get your nicotine buzz or you know, whatever buzz it is you guys are seeking. You know, just chillax. It'll be all right. You know, you know, I'll be honest with you. You know, I hate taking tests myself. You know, growing up, um, growing up with 505. You know, we had things like state standardized testing shoved down our throats, even since like elementary school. So, you know, I've had the even during the entire test, I was just getting bored. Kind of like sitting there wondering like why am I even here? Why am I taking this test at like 9 a.m. on a Saturday when I want to just sleep in? <laughs> you know, like that's just like my whole mentality on on a Saturday morning. Even though I had to go to work today, but that's besides the point. Um, but you know, you know the. The, the Kaplan test itself, it suffers from being a standardized test. And for me, like, I personally believe that what you do on a test is I evaluate your performance in life. Because if that was the case, the SBA testing, part testing, no child left behind, I, I've, 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 I've gone through all three of those of those state standardized testing. And I always had like terrible grades on them. And, you know, I've even had like the school counselors that were like, yeah, you know, suck it. It's taking standardized testing. You know, I'm like, brah, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I graduated. So I graduated from high school, you know? So, you know, it's just, it's just a test, you know? But I do recommend you guys study for it at least a month prior to it, at the very least. But, you know, if anybody that knows, like, my story personally and, like, what I've gone through in order to get to even just this point alone of being able to even be eligible to get into nursing school, you know, anybody can do it, you know, even, like, you know, I'm gonna be humble here, you know, even like some stupid white boy with tattoos. Yeah, I have a sleeve. Even like some stupid white boy with tattoos who works at McDonald's, who sags his pants, is able to get into nursing, is able to pass this test and get into nursing school. You know, anybody can do it. But, you know, like I said, you know, study for the test, but like I said, take it easy. Just chillax, it will be all Gucci. But, you know, hope you guys are having a blessed day. You know, if you guys have any questions in terms of, like, 
you know, what exactly is going to be on the test. I'm going to do my best to answer without being in violation of the rules or arbitrary rules that they put on, that they put on there. You know, but I hope you guys are doing good. So, peace.